Boys and girls meet Italian artist Giuseppe Archimboldo. This is a picture of him that he made of himself, so we would call this a self-portrait. Let's look at other portraits or works of art that he created of other people. Here is a portrait of a person, but look closely. You don't see regular body parts like you would see on a regular person's face or body. You should see fruits, vegetables, plants, flowers. So he did not use ordinary objects to create his portraits. He used things from nature or organic shapes. This one's made up of completely fruits and vegetables and flowers and anything you might find from nature. He also did portraits with other items too. This one's also made from organic shapes, but it's made completely of sea creatures. Wow, so amazing. He even did a portrait of a librarian made completely of pictures of things you might find in the library, especially books. Hi artists, today we are gonna be drawing our final fruit portrait. You're gonna get a piece of white paper, not free draw paper, it feels a little different. And you're also gonna need your practice squares. You should have a few practice squares and you're gonna choose one that you think is best. I'm using this as my example. And you should be drawing your practice square on here, but much bigger and try to draw it even better than before, okay? You are not gonna be drawing a brand new portrait or brand new fruits and vegetables. It should be something that you've already practiced on a square, your practice squares, okay? I also have visuals here. If I need help making something look realistic, if I'm not using on here, if I see a fruit or vegetable on here that I wanna draw and I wanna make it more realistic, I can use these or I can just copy it from here. I know it's kind of hard for you to see because I'm using, uh, this is in pencil, um, but use your practice squares for help. So the first step is drawing the head. It looks like I have a lemon shape for my head. And before you start, your head is going to determine what uh, direction your paper goes. So if my lemon is this way, my lemon is nice and tall. So I want to do my fruit portrait vertical like this. If you drew a portrait that is short and wide, like maybe like a watermelon you or a pumpkin, you might want to turn yours this way. It doesn't matter. This is horizontal. You pick, okay? So pick a direction and go with that. Um, so I'm drawing a lemon. I'm going to use this or I can find a lemon on this paper to help me. Draw very light because we might do a lot of erasing so that we can really do our very best. So we want to start at the top. I, my hair is not going to be sticking up. So I don't need to leave room for sticking up hair. All of my hair is gonna be on my portrait like this, okay? So just keep those things in mind. I also wanna leave room for my ears on the side and I wanna draw a nice lemon shape. It's kind of like an oval, okay? And then when I get towards the bottom, I want to kind of make a little, um, it's got an extra little line, kind of looks like a lip or something on the, the bottom of a lemon, okay? Then the next step is making vertical lines, a line of symmetry, and I wanna make these very light because I don't want them to show up on my portrait at all. I'm gonna erase them later and it'll be easier to erase them if they're very light, okay? And then I wanna find the middle of my face because that's where we decided eyes are. They're not at the top, they are actually in the middle. So I wanna find the middle and do a horizontal dotted line. So I'll know my eyes go there. Now it looks like my eyes are kiwis in the middle and then maybe a, um, an orange on the outside. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a nice oval orange, big eyes. And we're gonna try to make them the same size, same shape because we're making uh, things that are symmetrical. And then the kiwis. And I'm drawing the inside of the kiwi like it's sliced in half. And the kiwi, if I need help, it's right here. So it's got another circle in the middle. This could be the pupil. And then it's got some diagonal lines coming out and some circles in between each one. Not gonna do the whole thing because this is just a video for you to watch the steps. You should know to finish everything, okay? Now, the next step would be the nose. 
I chose a carrot on my practice portrait, so I'm going to look for a carrot just to make sure I'm including all the details. There's a little carrot right there, or I can use my um, practice square. I'm not going to go all the way down. I'm going to leave room for the mouth. And then I can start erasing these dotted lines when I'm done with that shape because I don't want the lines on my carrot to overlap those dotted lines. I want to erase them first. It'll be kind of hard to erase them later. Okay, then I'm ready for the mouth, which is a watermelon. A watermelon cut the way it's cut before you would eat it. See some dotted lines, and I can go ahead and erase the ones all the way down the because I'm done with the eyes and the nose and the mouth. And then I can erase these. So once you're done with the eyes and the nose and the mouth, you can erase those, okay? And then instead of watermelon seeds around like this watermelon, I chose, chose to do my seeds like that. So it looks like some sharp so if you see anything you want to change before you draw it on your big paper like this, practice it on your practice square first or make those changes first. Don't want to draw something brand new for the first time on here because we want to practice them first. Okay, and then I drew some bananas for the eyebrows. Kind of looking at the bananas here and the ones on my practice square. So bananas have like a little stem on them and then they're curved. So I'm going to just do one little step at a time. Awesome. Okay, and then ears, and I drew some leaf ears. Beautiful. Erase when you make a mistake. Take your time. You want to do your very best. I want to make sure my ears are the same height, so I'm kind of dragging my finger across to make sure I stop in the same spot. And then I'm drawing the veins. Okay, and then I'm ready for the hair, which are more leaves overlapping to make it interesting. I can also go ahead and erase these dotted lines. And I can erase the rest later. And every single leaf that I draw doesn't have to match every single one on here. I'm just using this as a plan so I don't have to do it perfect. Like if I have 12 leaves on my practice portrait, I don't have to have exactly 12 on my big portrait. But I am using it to follow those same fruits and vegetables that I drew. I'm using it as a plan. And sometimes plans can change. But... Remember, not drawing anything brand new and crazy that I haven't practiced before. And if you chose a fruit portrait that you would like and you're drawing it on here and it's not turning out so good, you can look at your other squares and maybe choose something else. Okay, that's why we did four of them, just in case one didn't come out so great. And if you really mess up the front, you can always start over on the back. Okay, you don't have to... Um, use that same side. That's why we usually don't put our name on the back until we're finished. Okay, now I'm checking everything to make sure I didn't leave off any body parts and I think that I'm done. Just gonna clean it up by erasing those dots. When I'm finished, you know, or when that bell rings, even if I'm not finished, please make sure you put your first and last name on the back so we can get it back to you when you're finished, okay? So have fun drawing one of your practice squares on a big white paper so that we can move forward with our awesome fruit portraits.